my friends welcome back to my channel and happy wednesday you heard me right it is only wednesday uh as i mentioned i am going camping well my husband and i rented a cabin in sandpoint idaho for the weekend and we'll be heading out thursday morning ish so i won't be at my workshop on friday so being Wednesday, there's a workshop in my area. So I went ahead and I'm gonna go in and weigh in and go to the workshop. Now, it's only been a couple days since I weighed in last because I typically do weigh in on Friday and it is only Wednesday. So I don't know what's gonna happen when I step on the scale, but my week so far has been really good. It's been really busy with the transition into real estate. It has been busy lots of training lots of meetings lots of trying to get the word out there that i'm now an agent trying to build my business so if you guys are interested in helping me grow my business it's really easy no matter what state you're in if you know someone looking to be a buyer or a seller of their home or buy a home all you have to do is reach out to me I will do all of the research to find an agent in your area or their area if it isn't in the state of Washington that has good ratings, that would be a good personality fit with your friend or family member or even yourself, and I'll make sure that you find the perfect agent to help you with your buying or selling process. That allows me to build relationships and it also gives me a referral fee from that agent, not from the buyer or seller or you, but from the agent. So it helps me grow my business financially, but also gives me the the opportunity to interact with your friends and family or even yourself because you never know down the road we may be doing business again so that's a great way to help me get started so it's just been really busy with that I haven't been doing my walking I have been pretty active though just kind of running around running errands and things but I'm getting back to my daily morning walking next week next week looks a little less crazy uh, I'm right now I'm having like multiple things during the day so it's super busy I'm doing a lot of packing my food and bringing it with me this coming up Sunday I am doing two open houses for another agent so that's going to be crazy I'm going to take you guys with me because I always film what I eat on Sunday so you're going to get to see that so it's just been a crazy week my food has been good uh the only day that I splurged so to speak was on Saturday but my husband and I shoveled bark for four hours on Saturday. So pretty sure I burned it off. So I don't know what's gonna happen when I go in, but I didn't wanna miss the topic so that I could share that with you. And I wanna weigh in and just kinda see where I am midweek. So I'm gonna head in and I'll be back to share with you not only what we talked about at this week's workshop, but also how my weigh-in is just a few days after my last weigh-in. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back guys. I just got out of my workshop and I'm heading into the office for a meeting. We have a sales meeting every Wednesday. So I'm heading in for that, but I wanted to share with you guys what we talked about at this week's workshop and my weigh-in results. So I was really excited about the topic. It is somewhat controversial in the weight loss environment in general, and that is snacking. Some people say you should snack. Some people say you shouldn't snack. I am a snacker. I have a morning snack and an afternoon snack. Not only does it keep me satisfied and full, but it keeps me on track. And I'm not tempted to eat things that aren't on plan if I am prepared with snacks. So again, it can be a little bit controversial. There's a lot of people that say you should eat three meals a day and not be spiking your blood sugar throughout the day. So I say you do what works for you, but the topic was about snacking. So let's talk a little bit about snacks so first of all as far as Weight Watchers is concerned based on the weekly and based on the workshop snacking is absolutely okay because again it keeps you on track it keeps you satisfied it doesn't put you in a position where you are so hungry that you are willing to eat anything and everything you can get your hands on because you didn't have a snack on hand and that's especially important when traveling it's kind of funny because before I went in, I told you guys about my open houses on Sunday and how I have to bring all of my food. So Weight Watchers, you've done it again. You have made the workshop exactly what I needed. So in my opinion, being prepared is better than not. 
Now, here's the caveat to that. You don't have to eat the snacks just because you brought them, but I think having them on hand is really important because at least that way you have something that's within your smart points on plan that you can eat in a pinch if you get hungry. So for this next week, think of a day that you are going to be extremely busy. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're out of the office. If you are someone that doesn't work, maybe you're doing things with your kids all day or you're just not going to be around your kitchen where you can eat the food that you know you can have that's in your pantry in your fridge in your freezer and select that day is a day that you are going to plan ahead and bring some snacks i think it's important as well to identify when you think you're going to need the snack so for example let's say that you're able to eat breakfast at home you're able to have maybe a mid-morning snack or not at home but you are hitting the road the minute lunch is over and you will not be back until later in the evening maybe even past your traditional dinner time that would be the time that you should have a snack so when you head out the door after lunch throw a snack in your purse if you love the built bars throw them in your little built bar cooler that you got for free during the three-day promotion and take that with you and again you don't have to eat it but it's better to be prepared than to not remember how they say those who fail to plan plan to fail and that is the same philosophy when it comes to snacking you also have to think about what types of snacks that you're going to have are you going to be picking something up at the grocery store or the gas station are you going to be bringing it with you are you going to plan ahead and make sure that you have snacks in your desk at work think about the kinds of snacks that you're going to need to help you stay on plan and be successful so for me now that i'm in real estate i'm gone a lot during the day so for example today i packed my lunch because i know that when i leave my meeting i have to go down and get my access to all of the listings and you know pay a few fees i'm getting my eyebrows done today i've got to run to target to get some new pillows so i know that i'm going to be out most of the day today until definitely well after lunch. So I packed snacks. I packed a built bar in my little built bar cooler that I'm going to eat this morning. I also packed my lunch because I didn't know if I would be home when I got hungry for lunch. And here's a little tip for you. My lunch today luckily is all cold food as you saw my wrap and my pasta salad. But let's say that your lunch is something that you need to warm up and you're on the road. I use the gas station microwave all the time. I don't even buy anything a lot of the times. Sometimes I'll get a drink, like a water, maybe a diet soda, but I will just go into the gas station and throw my food in their microwave. No one ever says anything. I always pla pack plastic silverware, but in the event that you don't have that, the gas station always has plastic silverware as well. So there are options for you even to eat your meals on the road rather than turning to an unhealthy option. So I think if you know you're gonna be out, in my opinion, it is better to plan ahead and bring your snacks rather than putting yourself in a position where you have to try to find something when you're out and about within the time that you're really hungry. That's within your smart points and that's healthy and that's on plan. This also comes to when you're planning your grocery list. Think ahead about what snacks you may or may not want in the upcoming week or weeks, depending on how often you do your grocery shopping. Make sure you're thinking about that and you're putting that on your grocery list so that you, again, have those things on hand. I know for me if I don't plan ahead it can be disastrous if I don't have healthy foods on hand I'm gonna reach for anything that's going to satisfy my hunger and most of the time you guys it's not broccoli like let's be real it's not broccoli it's chips it's sweets it's something I shouldn't be eating or maybe it's something I can eat but I'm gonna get a lot less of it and be a lot less satisfied than if I would have planned ahead and brought the snacks that keep me full that keep me satisfied that are better on plan so the rule of thumb with snacks is prepare make sure you have snacks available if you're leaving for the day and you want to bring those snacks with you make sure that they're packed and ready to go and in the event that you don't have snacks with you when you get that hunger pain go ahead and stop somewhere and pick something up but do your absolute best to keep it within your smart points and not sabotage that day because of a snack don't let snacks ruin you so next, let's talk about weigh-in. So as I mentioned, I just weighed in on Friday. It is Wednesday. It's only been a couple of days with a splurge day in the mix. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot of greatness. I'd like to have a couple more days, darn it. But 
I'd rather go to the cabin and enjoy the lake. And oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna be doing a whole nother camping vlog, a whole nother what I eat while camping. I'm going to have my splurge day be on Friday, so I'm gonna share some of the foods that I'm eating with you guys. Really excited to take you guys with me to the cabin. It was so fun last time. You loved my camping vlog that I put out last time. You can find that on my channel if you wanna watch it. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, so that's exciting. So I'd rather be at the cabin, let's be honest, but I'm sad that I don't get to weigh in and see my friends at my Friday workshop. So when I stepped on the scale, I am down 0.2. It's not very much, especially when I gained 0.6 last week, but I don't know what would have happened over the next couple of days. Regardless, I'm down 0.2. I'll take it. I know that I have, you know, the next few days to stay on track, have my little splurge on Friday and get right back on track. So with weighing in today, you know, early this week, hopefully it really catches up with me. And next Friday, I just have a really good weight loss because it'll be a week and a half since I weighed in last. So cross your fingers for me. I need all the luck I can get apparently. So everything's been really good other than, you know, just being really busy. My food is good. I have a plan for this week. Again, I'm going to be bringing my snacks with me on Sunday when I go to do those open houses. You guys will see all of that in my what I eat in a day video because I always film on Sunday. So I'm actually really excited to take you with me and do a little bit different type of video for my what I eat in a day. So I want to hear how your guys's week went. Was it what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? Are you going to plan for some snacks. Remember, failing to plan, plan to fail, something along those lines. I can't remember the exact quote. So make sure you're planning your snacks and bringing them with you this next week. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the topic, how your week went. Thumbs up this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload. That way you don't miss a single video. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.